Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Pirates of the Caribbean games on the GBA. Pirates of the Caribbean The Curse of the Black Pearl is mediocre. The plot is confusing, the gameplay is a mixture of bad stuff, I mean controls are clunky and the isometric view makes it even worse. You'll have to do some pixel perfect jumps in some areas. And with the clunky controls and isometric view you'll have a hard time. And also, don't expect the game to be this Pirates of the Caribbean, because it's not. It's supposed to be a prequel, that's why Jack Sparrow looks like this. The plot is confusing and has you running around item collecting, like you are playing a children's game with pirates on the school's library computer. You get some ship combat too, which also doesn't feel that good. Overall the game is mediocre. It's playable, but don't expect it to blow you out of your pants. Or have something to do with this Pirates of the Caribbean. It's supposed to be a prequel, but feels more like a generic pirate action adventure game. And by generic I mean that the game feels like it's a no-name game and not a Pirates of the Caribbean game. Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest respects the tradition of tying games, being not that great. The game feels generic, but it's a little worse. For the most part the game is generic. You go from one part of the screen to the other and kill everything that crosses you. The combat is ok, aside of some moments where the game can be a little frustrating due to the collision detection. Some reviewers complained also that the game is too much of a button masher, but I had no problem with that. Other games of this sort are too and they are regarded as being good games. And I like that the game changes the enemies, you will fight pirates, undead, cannibals and the, Brit and the British navy, and even crabs. An annoying part of the game though is the ship combat. You depend on the wind to move your ship and this becomes annoying and boring during naval combat. Overall both games while playable and while being decent they are also mediocre too. They aren't really something. You're not missing out on anything if you don't play them. 